Greetings, luminous beings of infinite light. Today we commence the new wave spell of the white mirror on the Mayan Zolkin calendar as the mirror of our mind is cleared so the light can be reflected perfectly in the self-realization of our Buddha nature. This is it. Now is the time to step into our divine sovereignty as spirit rises within the hearts and minds of our galactic star seeds of the 144. On the 13th day, we reach the zero point of the still white magnetic light at the center of all things. Hunab Ku, the great central sun for our full compression breakthrough as supernova spirits of the rainbow tribe of the new Lemuria. Our solar system and Mother Earth are being inundated with massive gamma plasma waves from Solaris with an M-class solar flare yesterday evening and 21 C-class flares today. We are now on day 7 of blackout mode on the Schumann resonance charts with over 181 hours of darkness. This is the first time the charts have been in this mode for this long since they began being monitored. This is the darkness before the dawning of the new golden age of eternal life. All earth angelics rise up in the illumination of your golden ray of Christ consciousness. Continue blazing this realm with the violet ray and the power of your almighty I am presence. We are on mission of assisting Gaia and all her children in the great awakening and the transformation of Pachamama into the paradise she has always evolved to be. We also have waterfalls flowing in Death Valley from the weather of the hurricanes, symbolizing life is coming to death, or the rebirth and resurrection of the living ones of the 144,000 that shall raise the vibration of this realm into the fifth dimension to free all souls from the time loops of suffering into the free flow energy of our higher self made manifest. Many are seeing cloud flares all over the world as the veils get thinner. Nothing can stop this great shift of the ages. We shall weather this storm with the faith of our lion nation that the great spirit is in control and the hope for a brighter future for all humanity. We consciously co-create this new reality with our pure intent and divine will while holding the visions of the new heaven upon the new earth. All is coming into alignment as we are reaching the zero point of this space-time continuum and go beyond to the other shore of the pure land of eternal bliss consciousness. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes. So be sure to listen to the very end and please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. Now we continue with the Sabian symbols right now. The moon is at 9 degrees, 20 minutes Taurus. The sun is at 21 degrees, 23 minutes Virgo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 22 degrees Virgo. A royal coat of arms enriched with precious stones. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 10 degrees Taurus. A Red Cross Nurse from AstrologyWeekly.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. We're in massive reviews this week, both personally and collectively. Choose your highest timeline. Input, output. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Amanda Lawrence. Way showers. It is always about love or the being, being in a temporary forgetfulness of the love, God's love through you. Both are now palpable in every human being's moments and interactions with you, and your interactions with them, without any exception. An energetic frequency choice of what to be, speak, write, do, or give focus to. Everyone can feel energy now. It is no longer hidden, for it can now be felt by all of the peoples the heart being everyone's constant gateway and their own lifting with the body 
where a state of never-ending inner peace is gifted to you. One love, Amanda Lawrence. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Divine Feminine 7777. The energy is still quite unpleasant, but change is coming closer and closer. You can almost feel it by now, even though you don't know what it will exactly bring. The symptoms like ear ringing, hot cold like feelings, tingles, shivers, itchy skin, tiredness, and the desire to eat a lot are still present, but it is getting better each day. Our bodies still need a lot more energy and fuel to function because of the high frequency energy coming in. But we have integrated most of the downloads and it is getting easier. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Allie Ray, it is happening. Do you feel it? Are you seeing it? The rainbow bridge? It's appearing all over the world. Some are crossing it energetically and they can feel this deeply in their heart. Allow yourself your flow and hold steadfast in your faith that absolutely everything is unfolding perfectly for the highest good for all, each and all in divine timing. Is there a rainbow emanating from your own heart? Look within and see. Glory, glory be. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D., Tuesday Energies. Dear friends, our son is slowly waking up after a few days of being relatively quiet. You may be feeling an increase in the strength of the light intensity in your eyes and overall body. These new incoming codes are further balancing our nervous system, trying to reconnect energetically our left and right hemispheres for a more holistic perspective of reality. This might bring up issues related to visual sensitivity, dizziness, lethargy, and just wanting to rest and do nothing at all. In some cases, this may trigger mild anxiety and irritability as well. Please listen to your body and let yourself be guided by your intuition. Drink plenty of water at this time and rest as needed. We are leaving the age of the material and are moving into the age of frequencies. Day after day, we are becoming lighter and more sensitive to the effect of the cosmic energies and, of course, the energies around us, including the collective. It is important for us to take the necessary steps to remain as calm as possible during this transition. Be mindful of how you expose yourself to the energies in your surroundings, your relationships, and aim to find activities that will assist you to find inner peace and balance. We are truly moving into new versions of ourselves. Have a wonderful day. Much love from DiegoBerman.com And from Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, September 13, 2022, The New Cell Message Get to know your mother's cell. Get to know your father's cell. Get to know your divine cell. And you will get to know you. Our physical cells are changing. The transformation that is now being amplified in the physical aspect is to eventually reveal the true essence of our divine cell and what this means as an experience while in the physical body. This is a whole new chapter beginning. The new cell is emerging. As this process is taking place, the body needs very good rest, conscious breathing, contact with nature, living in an organic environment, good hydration, food, and supplements. The plasma codes that are coming are continuous and more powerful every day. But it is not just the plasma codes. The mother is calling from the depths of the sea. Can you hear her? She brings the divine cell. The sea is not what it is believed to be. It is the amniotic fluid of life that carries all the information and the nurturing of the living creation. The sea connects all worlds and the worlds are coming together again. The holiness of this essence that it's bringing the worlds together is beyond explanation. It is a deep sensation that can only be experienced from within. As it is coming through for humanity, this holiness will be eventually experienced in the external reality too. Internal and external are to merge in one reality. This is our whole journey back into our whole self. Eri ni. And from Divine Consorts of the Light, Soryananda and Ayed, the Great Central Sun once again is released 
the 13th of September 2022, onto Gaia, an extremely powerful shift. After increased activation from the Great Central Sun, with shifts impacting Gaia and inhabitants perceptive to these tremendous energies, significantly deeper attunements and alignments have increased in absorption with Father and Divine Mother and the Elohim from the Great Central Sun. From the Great Central Sun, Akashic Records. Inevitably, as with all shifts, powerful aspects are inherent within, and their momentum builds up into a crescendo. Each shift released onto Gaia will affect inhabitants differently, not only their ability to absorb the power in high frequencies, but dependent on their roles and paths of service. Paths and roles of service are wide-ranging and encompass both practical and esoteric aspects. All are of value and affect Gaia and inhabitants in ways of assistance. The Great Central Sum, the omnipresent, omnipotent power of creation, existence itself, has within the full creative force. Thus this, when absorbed in its fullness, will have a major impact on the creative force utilized for Gaia and inhabitants being of the utmost benefit. 1111 coming in. These activations will be absorbed into all inhabitants on Gaia, which are not dependent on where non-physical origins are beyond Gaia, whether this is the great central sun or stars and other worlds beyond the great central sun. Further shifts will be ongoing. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Judith Kusul, the immense dissolving. I was shown something last night just before falling asleep, which was immensely moving, and to me demonstrated the immense power of the divine love now pouring into planet humanity as we are going through this intense transfiguration process. I was shown all the power structures, the rigid institutions, and all which they upheld since Atlantis fell. Those who ruled and were ruled and thus the traditions, which no one even remembers whence it comes from, nor its original meaning and forms, more than this, how these self-same with their rigid structures regimented all and everything, and thus herewith then imposed such on all whom they conquered, or subdued, inclusive of their own people. Then I was shown the new earth, and the inpouring of divine love, into the old earth, and as this happened the cracks started appearing, and the cracks widened and widened until all literally burst, and then shards of the old dissolving into nothingness, all of this simply through the power of divine love pouring in. This went into the core of those who held power, and all artificial structures and the people within these, and they too were dissolving. The masks came off, and as the masks came off, only the soul remained, now standing naked, stripped open to the very core. Now it did not matter who and what the persona proclaimed or what acting role it had taken upon itself. All that had simply disintegrated crumbled away, and only the power of love itself remained, and nakedness of the soul. When the soul is stripped naked to the core, there are no hiding places any longer. The soul now is bathed in divine light and divine love, and shown in its truth. The power of love is indeed sweeping the earth. Huge and drastic changes are upon us. Nothing is stable any more. Thus look past the seeming events and do not be moved in any form or way. For what had been divinely declared and happening on all levels and all fronts, and thus the old is making way for the new as all transfigures. What is not of the highest truth will be exposed. The power of love is cleaving open is raising to the surface what needs to be seen, heard, forgiven, and let go of. It's not the time for huge outward planning and striving and pushing. It is simply time to go deep within and allow the power of love to sweep through you in all that is, and to lift all of us into the highest love, the purest love, the unconditionally loving state where all is one, where the power of love unites us all in ways we cannot even imagine now, Yet where we are being finally freed of all duality, all separation, all expressions and forms of such, and thus only can see and experience the wholeness, the deepest knowing, that whatever I see, whatever I experience, whatever comes my way, are all parts of me, now being reunited into one. Such is the power of love. 
what I witnessed was the transfiguration the power of love brings forth, and it goes beyond words and beyond recording. I now understood the message the dolphins brought me this weekend in a far deeper and wider sense, for indeed it is through the heart's center as connected to our soul that the power of love lifts us into the highest states of transfiguration, renewal, and rebirth. Thus, as all is exposed and all crumbles, rejoice. The power of love brings a total rebirth, a new humanity, and a new golden age in the new earth. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica. Light advice, for the journey ahead is a personal journey to reach the next frontiers of light. A recent question, do we energetically reach a bridge, just as we do when we travel in our Merkaba, or also within that vehicle? The next steps will continue to unfold. It is a personal journey coupled with a planetary journey of light. For your role is to do the inner light work and the dots will continue to connect for you. No, there is no set time for this to occur. Our direction is to make inner light work a priority to assist the overall goal of this light mission. Our physical minds and the conditioning of our reality requires us to feel we need to know every step. Once you have integrated with your Merkaba, all will unfold for you. No, connecting with your Merkaba could simply mean the feeling the presence of your light field. The most important tool we can share is to simply allow it to flow. Even the word Merkaba has its own limitations. Day by day we are reaching a new light frontier. Our light family's soul team are our true teachers. As these messages appeared in the past few days, this is the beginning of much more information. So simply attune to the light around you, have patience and be in peace. Allow the light evolution of you to evolve in a harmonic space of light. As the journey continues with love, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Carolyn 144 God Code Take time to ground and reconnect with your intuition. Replenish your energy from all the recent shifts and changes. The karmic lessons that have been a part of our soul growth journey need time to integrate. Mercury retrograde is supporting us. Review the past and rethink things through. The emotions that were dictating choices have healed, providing the opportunity to see things from a different perspective. Today you can go deeper into your beliefs and release the thoughts that have been keeping you feeling trapped and powerless. Intuitive communication is helping you realize that you do hold the power and can use this to protect yourself. This will help you put an end to outdated patterns and continue forward with your transformation. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Lunar aspects, although bigger patterns continue to play out in the background, today's focus is the fast-moving moon, faster still and fiery Aries. The impetus is to make haste, speed through life experiences, work goals, challenges, but there are always matters that are out of our control, roadblocks and internal moods that stifle inspiration or motivation. Luna's connection to Pluto may bring a furious feeling that we have to fight our way out of a corner again. Tempers become frazzled, angry with others perhaps, but most of all angry with ourselves. The trick is to dig deep, go beyond the fear and anger to the well of creative energy within. Some seeds, some situations need time to shoot, time to grow, time to develop. Take your foot off the accelerator. Thankfully, the energetic shift as the moon moves from Aries to Taurus should help us do exactly that. Taurus is slow moving, considered, practical, and relaxed. The solution to feel frazzled and burned out is to sink into the present moment and just be in the now. There's no rush, no need for anything other than food on the table, a roof over your head and loved ones at your side. Appreciate what you already have. Gratitude is the fairest blossom which springs from the soul. Henry Ward Beecher from LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 118, White Magnetic Mirror. 
Magnetic is the name for the number one and its keywords are unify, attract, and purpose. We are now entering the second wave of the blue western castle of burning. Day one of any wave spell is about identifying the purpose of the 13-day journey ahead and preparing for departure. This wave spell has no portal days in it, a relief after the ten in a row we've just endured. The number one symbolizes unity and this represents the unity of a wave spell where all the days in it are tied together by the theme set out on the first day. Today is White Mirror, which represents reflection, endlessness, and order. Embarking on a journey of truth is what the White Mirror wave spell is all about. If you are prepared to face the truth and be totally honest with yourself, this wave spell can deliver insights and clarity. Some people shy away from the truth, but it is always better to know where you stand. Take a good long look in the mirror and know thyself. Reality checks are essential if you are to keep grounded and focused as you continue on your path. Too often when we look in the mirror we have a knee-jerk reaction and begin to pick ourselves apart. This terrible behavior stems from being brought up in a society that values looks over everything else. You should be seeing your inner beauty, your strength, and your big heart, and what about your potential? Can you not see that? Try having another look and this time be kind to yourself. The guide today is also white mirror, so there's a double helping of this energy today. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. White Magnetic Mirror, 18 Snob, Keen, 118, 13th of September 2022, Reflecting on Truth. 13 9 2022 equal 13 9 6 equal 4 15 equal 4 6 equal 10 equal 1. Day codes 13 goddess cosmic consciousness natural lore 13 moon synchronic time rhythm 4 form structure foundation earth angelic 10 manifestation power authority 1 leadership new beginnings independent original month year codes 9. Completion, Service, Destiny, Divine, Humanity, Grace. 15. Spiritual Alchemy, Charisma, Magnetism. 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Harmony, Fertility. Keen 118 equal 10. Manifestation, Leadership, Authority, New Beginnings. Keen 118 occurred 27 months ago. 3 Galactic Spins on the 25th of July, 2020. This day is highly significant as... July 5th of every year marks the day out of time in the Dream Spell 13 Moon Calendar when we enter the Twilight Zone of No Time. In 2020, Keen 118, the Triple Mare Day, aligned with the Zero Point No Time, where time is an illusion that does not exist. Day out of time, days feel extra trippy and we bypass the illusory world and enter another dimension of space-time. The mirror wave spell is when we go within to decipher the truth from illusion. The mirror can cause much confusion through its reflection, so we need to use our inner standing to know what is truth. Mirror days can be very foggy and surreal with a penchant for daydreaming, so we need to have a great clarity and balance to navigate our true path through the endless reflections. Today, Keen 118 loops back to the day out of time portal in 2020 making this an extra potent day of reflection and escaping the artificial time matrix. The mirror represents the matrix, both artificial and harmonic, so we need to be able to distinguish the paradigm we wish to engage as our reality. Today's 13-day code brings forth a huge dose of cosmic consciousness expanding our inner standing and perception. The 10-1 totals symbolize manifesting new beginnings, creation, this affords us the opportunity to reflect on the past and choose a better path for our future adventures. The 13-4 codes relate to the goddess and new earth, directly linked to 4 Moluk, the red self-existing moon which is the solar seal for this current dream spell year. We are constructing the new earth on a foundation of empathy, compassion, and love. The magnetic mirror is enabling us to attract this new world. Today, the triple mirror opens a doorway to other worlds and possibilities. The doors are wide open, and we can make a quantum jump in our collective evolution.
a huge wake-up call today as we are called to face our true reflection and that of the reality we are choosing to exist within. A potent opportunity to choose to walk, run, or quantum jump into a new reality. Congratulations, we made it out alive, having survived the initiation of fire. The Cheek Chan, the Red Serpent, forced us through. We now reach the next level of spiritual initiation. Today we enter the Great Hall of Mirrors for our initiation of truth. For the next 13 days you will be faced with the true reflection of your innermost being, warts and all, in order to arise as a pure version of your authentic self. Collectively we will be forced to face the truth through the reflection of our global systems and governance. All will be revealed through the divine lens of truth. Get ready for the big reveal. Prime disclosure will shatter the false hall of mirrors. The themes for the white mirror wave spell are authenticity, reflection, truth, illusion, endlessness, and magnification. Whatever distortions are in your frequency will be magnified and reflected back to you in order to be acknowledged and healed. It is time to do some serious deep soul searching. Set yourself a goal for this wave spell. What is it about yourself that is crying out to be healed and brought into love? Tone of creation magnetic is tone number one in the spiritual realm as we initiate this new wave spell cycle. Power attracts, action unifies, essence purpose. Day one of a new wave spell always starts with a magnetic tone of purpose. In the beginning was the one, from out of nothing here one comes, spinning happily, magnetizing all that it requires for more excellent adventuring. Once strong in purpose, all will effortlessly come together. The magnetic tone is all about attraction, attracting everything that you require to fulfill your purpose and your goals, people, resources, relationships, money, support, and all that you can imagine. The attraction seeks to unify all as one, Thus magnetic kin have a very strong connection to source and a gravitational pull to return there and bring all their buddies with them. The power of one is very strong today as it unites us all as one humanity. The magnetic tone is seeking to attract your true self today and for the next 13 days as you return to find your source, to unify all fragments of your soul in order to embody your mighty I am presence. Triple Mare Day today, a beautiful opportunity exists for those souls who are ready and heeding the call to escape the illusion of the mirror world and enter a new beautiful realm, the harmonic time, where life is beautiful. The truth now you shall hear, attuned to the pure resonance of your heart, which shall show you the way forward, escaping the tyranny and confusion in the Hall of Mirrors. These codes today will be operative for the whole 13-day cycle, so utilize this cycle to access your true self and the abundance within. Today's questions are, what reflections are arising to be cleared in order to attract more beauty, peace, and harmony in my life and in our world? Do my reflections reflect harmony, love, and joy? Divine blessings for the courage to see and lovingly embrace your true inner diamond being. Enjoy your beautiful, dreamy day. In la quetch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger. Keen 66. Keen 118 White Magnetic Mirror. The mantra, the code for today is, I unify in order to reflect. Attracting order, I seal the matrix of endlessness. With a magnetic tone of purpose, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. If you'd like to help support our work mission, this channel, and help us 
to be able to continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge on our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Sheila Sempek, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your continued support. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at eaglelovecondor.com. Now, I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You could purchase your beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now, we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurelia. Prayer of Healing Through Releasing Negative Energies I am a master of divine expression. I now release all separation and limitations that no longer serve my path of light. I release all vows of poverty and limitations that I ever made in this and past incarnations. I release all imprints, implants, negative thought forms, black magic spells and curses, negative patterns of the human ego, illness and disease patterns, and all energies that no longer serve my path of light. By the intervention of divine grace, with my full intent, I choose to release all energies of separation, limitations, and all blockages back to the universe. I ask for these energies to be purified and transformed into the highest form of light. I invoke the assistance of angelic realms, Master Hilarion, Mother Mary, Archangel Raphael, my monad, and all ascended masters to release from my being and world all levels of energies that are less than my divine blueprint of perfection and my eternal victory in the light through my ascension. And so be it, beloved I am. From the book Prayers to the Seven Sacred Flames by Aurelia. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed white mirror wave spell for the next 13 days as we travel into the still center, the kingdom of heaven within, within yourself, within the galaxy, within the universe, and within the infinite multiverse. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.